Good morning, STM. My name is Gloria, and I'm here from your diversity committee. In, in 2009 of June was declared National Indigenous History Month in Canada. It is a time to recognize and honor the, risk, the rich history, heritage, resilience, and diversity of First Nations, Inuit, Métis, and Métis. Each week throughout the month of June, the Diversity Committee will be highlighting specific themes to celebrate, to celebrate Indigenous History Month. But not just Indigenous people in Canada, but also Indigenous people from other parts of the world. Like to give an example, me, and I'm sure many other people. Today, we will begin with a short video clip on storytelling. Have a great day, STM! Thank you! Ayo. Every year when you catch your first salmon, you return the bones to the river and sing this song. Ayo, ayo, ayo. Storytelling is so important to our culture. We talk about the connection to the land and the water. Our songs come from the water. We tell them legends and stories, and we also drum and sing songs all while we're paddling together. Everything was always taught to you repetitively through the generations. My grandmother told me many stories. You can actually see the evidence in the form of pictographs. It's fascinating to see the actual physical, geological formations that tie into our creation stories that have been passed down for thousands of years. I was taught if you learn something and it makes your life better, then you should share your knowledge. Each time I hear a story or tell a story, I'm able to be inspired from that moment. My father taught me, so it's good to be able to share with them. We were here so long ago and we're still strong today. We live in a really amazing time. The time where we can share our connection to the past and also to the future. Good morning, SCM. My name is Kiara. And I'm McKelly, and here are your announcements for today. For anyone going on the puppy yoga trip, this Wednesday, there will be a mandatory meeting immediately after school in the Phys Ed Health Room. Attention all diversity members, there will be a meeting today after school in the library. A reminder that prefect tutoring will be taking place today in student success during the lunch periods. And now for your sports, in junior girls soccer playoff action, the Knights defeated a strong Bishop Ryan defense on Thursday 4-1 to to advance to the championship this Wednesday against Bishop Tonis. The girls battled hard for the win and the work paid off. The buyout for Wednesday's championship game is on. Buy your ticket on School Cash Online later today and come out to cheer the last STM team still standing. The girls' slow pitch team advanced to GHAC as we finished second in our board. We faced Dr. Frank Hayden from Halton for the GHAC semifinal last Thursday. Our Knights played outstanding, our defense was solid, and our bats were lit up. We cashed in nine runs, shutting the Huskies down 9-3. to three. This moved the Knights into the GHAC championship against Bishop Redding from Oakville. The girls started off strong, cashing in four runs in the second inning, holding Redding to zero runs until the top of the third. At this point, it was 4-2 for the Knights. Redding, and Redding ended up tying the game in the fifth inning. We were neck and neck until the top of the seventh inning. Unfortunately, Redding's bats slid up and capitalized on our errors. Our Knights had last bats, but were not able to bring the home any runs. The final score was 12-4, which does not represent the effort made by our girls. You played amazing. Special mention to our pitchers, Emily Dunn and Kiana McCrory as well as shortstop Maeve Lebensky, second baseman Hunter Birch, and f uh, left fielder Jen Di Medeiros for their key plays and Dakota Burtzis, Michaela Burtzis, and Jada Dufour for their strong bats. We are so proud of you girls. Best of luck to our graduates of 2024 who will be leaving us this year. Michaela Burtzis, Jen Di Medeiros, and Maeve Lebensky. Thanks, Thanks SDM. SDM. All right, good morning, St. Thomas More. Today we're here to talk about our, our tennis team. And uh, just before we move forward and announce our winners of GHAC, I just want to thank all the members of the junior and senior tennis team. You guys did an exceptional job this year, both myself and Mr. Mortuzo, who unfortunately can't be here. He was asked to, uh, to shoulder uh, Novak Djokovic uh, today at uh, what's going on, what tennis is going on again, the French Open, that's right. All right, so today we're here to acknowledge two of our women's doubles members. Alexandra 
Lima to my left and Maria Ferrero to my right. Last year, these two young women won our, our, our championship for the juniors and then they went on and won the GHAC championship. And this year, they repeated again. Now, it's very, very difficult uh, and very challenging to repeat uh, a GHAC championship. And I want to congratulate these two young women. They played five matches in one day, which is very, very challenging and difficult uh, thing to do. So, Alexandra, Maria, congratulations again. Looking forward to next year and uh, attending OFSA with you too. All right. Thank you very much and uh, have a great day, STM. Good morning, STM. I'm Nina. And I'm Anthony. And we're here with your student council announcements. Nice. Don't forget, that tomorrow's fun day. That's right. Don't forget to come to the field on your lunch to check out our food trucks and all our fun games we have. Hope to see you there. Those are all of your announcements for today. Thanks, STM. STM, those are all of your announcements for today. The time is now 8.21. And remember, and remember it's, it's a great, great day to be a knight. knight.